Hi everyone, we are back for another story time Saturday. As you can see, we switched locations. Um, we're gonna read our book, The Friend Who Forgives, up here in the sanctuary today. So we are continuing with another book in our Tales That Tell the Truth series. And this is a true story about Jesus and his friend Peter, how Peter failed and how Jesus forgave. And these stories are coming to us right out of the New Testament. So let's begin. A long time ago, there was a man named Peter who was best friends with Jesus. Peter was a fisherman. He was strong and brave, but he often said the wrong thing. Do you ever talk before you think? That's what Peter did again and again and again. Peter loved fish. In fact, one day he had fish for breakfast. That's a little weird, right? Fish for breakfast? But we'll save that part of the story until the end. One day, while well, Jesus first called Peter to follow him, can you guess what Peter was doing? That's right, Peter was fishing. Follow me and I will make you a fisher of men, Jesus told him. Can you imagine that? Peter fishing for men? Jesus explained that just as Peter liked to search for fish, Jesus had come to search for people who needed forgiveness. Now, Peter loved being friends with Jesus. He saw Jesus do lots of amazing things. One time, Peter's mother-in-law was sick and Jesus healed her. Another time, Peter was about to drown in a storm and Jesus saved him. Slowly, Peter began to realize that Jesus was more than a friend. He was God, and he would never let Peter down. But sometimes, Peter let Jesus down. Just like the time Jesus explained to his friends that he had to die on a cross, but he would come back to life to offer forgiveness. All of you will run away. You're going to say, you're not my friends, Jesus said. But Peter spoke up right away, like he did a lot, and said, I will never do that. But Jesus told him, before the rooster crows in the morning, you will say three times that you are not my friend. I would never do that. Jesus is my best friend, Peter thought. Now, when the soldiers came to take Jesus to the cross, Peter pulled out his sword to stop them. Put your sword away, Peter, Jesus said. My father says this must happen. Jesus let the soldiers take him to the courtyard to stand trial, and Peter followed them from afar. Aren't you one of Jesus' friends? A young girl asked as she opened the gate for Peter to enter the courtyard. Now, what do you think Peter said? No, I don't know, Jesus. It was a cold night, so Peter walked over to a fire where some people were warming themselves. What do you think Peter said when they asked, aren't you one of Jesus' friends? No, I don't know Jesus, Peter said. Then someone else stepped forward and looked closely at Peter. Yes, you are one of Jesus' friends, aren't you? He said. Now, what do you think Peter said? No, I don't know Jesus. Right then, at that very moment, a rooster crowed. Jesus turned around and looked straight at Peter. And Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the rooster crows, you will say three times that you are not my friend. Peter was so sad. He knew that he had failed Jesus again and again and again. He didn't just need to find the other people who needed forgiving. He needed forgiving too. Peter felt terrible. He ran out of the courtyard and cried and cried and cried. Peter had let his best friend down. And now it was too late because the soldiers had taken Jesus away to be killed. But Peter didn't stay sad because Jesus didn't stay dead. Three days later was the very first Easter Sunday 
when Jesus came back to life to offer people forgiveness. But would he forgive Peter for failing him so badly? One day, Jesus went looking for Peter. Where do you think Jesus found him? That's right, Peter and his friends were fishing. Jesus called to them from the beach, and Peter jumped out of the boat and into the water and rushed to the beach to see Jesus. That's where Jesus and Peter had fish for breakfast. That's right, fish for breakfast. Peter was so happy to see Jesus alive, but would Jesus forgive him? Peter wasn't sure. Maybe Jesus wouldn't want to talk to him. Maybe Jesus wouldn't want to be friends with him. But yes, Jesus did want to talk to Peter. And yes, Jesus did want to forgive Peter. Wow. And since Peter had said he didn't know Jesus three times, Jesus gave Peter the chance to say three times, I love you, Jesus. That's how Peter became a forgiven fisher of men. Peter spent the rest of his life telling people about his best friend, Jesus. He told them that if they put their trust in Jesus, Jesus would forgive them again and again and again. That's because Jesus was Peter's best friend, and he forgave him and everyone else again and again and again. And if you trust in Jesus, he will forgive you too, again and again and again. What a great story. It's so fun to see a different interpretation and dive into God's word. Our story today has different pieces in each of the gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, where they tell about Peter's exciting friendship with Jesus. Now, it was sad when Jesus was arrested and Peter pretended that he didn't even know him. Jesus was killed on the cross and it seemed like the end of everything, but we know that Jesus didn't stay dead. As we talked in our story last week, Jesus came to be the new king, the forever king, and the forgiving king. And he's that for us, just like he was that for Peter. The last chapter of John's gospel tells us that Peter came, Jesus came to find Peter and forgive him. Three times, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? And three times, Peter answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. That's how Peter became the forgiven fisher of men. And for then on, Peter told other people about Jesus and how they could be forgiven too, again and again and again. What a great reminder is we often need to be forgiven again and again and again, but we have a great God who loves us and a friend who forgives. All right, enjoy your week, everyone, and we'll see you next week for another Storytime Saturday.